Hello everybody, Melissa here at TCT Crafts. Today we're going to be making this beautiful fall um, basket arrangement. We're going to be using this uh, foam pumpkin, lots of fall florals, these little blue pumpkins, all the things. Um, so I think this is going to be a super fun design and um, it's pretty quick as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Let's go ahead and get started. Hello everybody. Welcome. Today we are going to be doing a fall centerpiece arrangement. So we are going to be using this little wooden basket. Um, I'm not sure where I got it, but you can check Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Walmart, all the places. Just look for you any kind of basket. Let me get the size on this one. This is about eight and a half inches. Yeah, about eight and a half inches, and it is about five, almost five and a half inches tall, okay? So eight and a half by five and a half, but use whatever basket you have available. And all I've done so far is I've just take and put some scrap pieces of foam in here. So this is just floral foam. You use whatever floral foam you want. If you want to use the gaps and cracks, the insulation foam, you could spray that in there. Um, that would work as well. But I've just taken some scrap pieces that I have and I've just added them in there. And so now we're just going to take a little bit of our Spanish moss and I am just going to get the top covered up just to kind of hide our mechanics. Okay, so we just got the top with some moss on there. We are good to go. And the star of our show is going to be this foam pumpkin. So this pumpkin came from Walmart. Walmart has um, a good selection of pumpkins every year and they're very uh, affordable. Okay, so but use again whatever pumpkin you have available. Now this pumpkin is going to kind of sit at a slight slant. So I'm just going to use some little skewers, bamboo skewers, whatever you want to call them. I know I don't need it this long, so let me cut it down. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball where I want it. And these are foam. Okay, so we can... Yeah, I think that's probably about a good placement. So let me go ahead and add some glue to this. We do not want that coming out. I'm going to add some glue on our little skewer here. Okay, now I'm going to add more pieces just to give us some support. So let's go I'm going to pick it up for just a second hopefully for that glue dries. Let's get another one in here. Sorry guys, I didn't like the placement on that. Don't be afraid to pull it out. You can always re-glue it. I'm going to cut this down just a little bit. it up and just get a small little piece added to the front. There we go. Alright, let me hit that with some glue. Ah, 
All right. So our little guy is in there now, and he is not going to go anywhere once that glue sets. Okay. So here's what we have so far. All right. We are going to go in with some of these little pumpkin picks. I'm going to pull this apart and I'm going to save those little pumpkins. So I'm just going to pull all of this pick apart and we're going to place it wherever we want it. Cause I don't want to pick, I don't want to pick that whole thing in one particular area. I want to be able to place them wherever I want them. Right? Cut that one down. I don't know if I'm going to use that little grassy piece. It's not my favorite. Okay. So I know I want this pumpkin sort of in the front. It's going to kind of hug the other pumpkin. right there on the back. Okay. We may add another one, but we'll stop there and let's get some of our other goodies added. Okay. So let's add a couple of our, let's add a couple of our leaves. This one right here, right there in the front. Okay, let's get another one. I'm going to leave a little blue piece on here. Cut it down just a little bit. I think this one we're going to go up, so that one kind of came down into the side. This one we're going to kind of put up. Okay, just like that. Now I do want to add a bow, and so I think we're going to add it like right here. So let's go ahead and get our bow made. I'm just going to use this really pretty blue fair silk going to match our pumpkins. Let me see. I'm thinking my tail about right there. So I'm just going to pinch it. And I think we're going to do probably three loops. Three loops will be good. Okay, let's see. Do I have a little pipe cleaner? I do. Okay, I'm just going to get a little pipe cleaner and twist this off. And then I'm going to take a little floral pin, this little wooden floral pin, pin, and I'm just going to wrap this pipe cleaner around the floral pin. Get it nice and tight. All right. Then I'm going to hit that with a little bit of glue. And then I'm going to get my moss back out. I'm going to add just a tiny bit of moss around that just to kind of help hold it in place. Okay, 
it. So I'm just taking that moss, twisting it around, just to kind of hold it. Okay? Be careful with your fingers. Don't burn yourself. I have done that way too many times. Okay. Now I'm just going to get this right in the front. Let me add some glue. And I'm just going to push that right down in the foam, right there. Okay? Now I'm going to let that set. And then we will fluff it out in a little bit. I'm just going to kind of turn my ends up so that they're nice and neat. to it but it's okay I'm not gonna mess with it now but I would like to have it a little bit more of a tilt it's a little flat for me but it's still cute okay I want to see if I want to go in with one more pumpkin we might add it in the back right there This one we're going to go right behind our bow. And it's going to kind of hang. It's going to kind of hang there in the middle of our bow. It's going to help cover our mechanics, cover up that little um, pipe cleaner. Okay, so it's just going to hang out right there. Get another piece. I'm going to save these little green leaves because they're not my favorite. I think we're going to add this one towards the back. your phone, add a pick, you can use a pick machine. If you don't have a pick machine, you can make your own pick by just getting a stem and wrapping some wire around it. Okay, so we just added that leaf there in the back. All right, let's add a few of our florals before we add more greenery. So I brought in these really pretty sort of burgundy. I thought the burgundy would look pretty with the blue and the white. I do not know where these came from. Probably Michael's, if I had to guess. We're gonna go in with a couple of these. I'm gonna go right in the front with one, yeah, like that. And you can just take and pull this plastic off of these. It's 
Sometimes you have to manipulate it a little bit. But you can get this plastic off of here because sometimes it's thick. And you'll be left with the stem. So that way we can get that way we can get in there where we want it. I'm gonna cut it down just a little bit. So I'm gonna go right in the front, right next to that, right next to that bow right there not pretty i think i want another one so i'm going to do two i want two to kind of sit right in there okay so let me get another one and instead of just oh look that one pulled right off it's perfect so that gives me the stem i need i'm going to go right next to this one make a little cluster Making sure I heard that phone, and I did. Isn't that just so pretty? So I just clustered those two together right there. Okay, now let's add, I've got a bigger head one. This is the same color palette, just a different bush. I'm gonna go right, yes, right there in the back. I'm not going to pick that up. I'm just going to go ahead and hit it with some glue in there. Okay, so you can probably see where that one is there. Now let's add, so I have a couple smaller bushes. This came from, it looks like Walmart, probably last year or the year before. I've had these a little while. So I'm gonna add a few of these smaller ones in here. I do not like the leaves, so we're gonna just leave the leaves off of here. And I think I'm gonna go right up. I'm gonna keep this one tall. So I'm gonna make that one stand right up there above our little pumpkin. I'm gonna go to the side of our bow. Okay, so we just went right there on the side. Now let's go, I'm trying to see where I want this one. I think let's go on this side. So we have one here, one here, one there. So I'm gonna go right, right up next to that one. It's just a little bit higher. Okay. Beautiful. Very pretty. Okay, I'm thinking I may want one more of these and then that's probably gonna be it. So we've got some other things I want to add. Okay, right there. So this is what we have so far. Super pretty. Okay, now I brought in some more of these little leaves. These I think came from Michael's, Michael's or Walmart. And I like them, they, they're bringing in a little bit of the fall color, but these leaves have kind of that burgundy color that's in our, in our florals. So we're gonna add a few of these in here. I'm gonna start in the back, because we have that hole we wanna fill in. Okay, so I just, I'm just tucking it in right next to that pumpkin there. We got that flower, that or that burgundy leaf right next to that flower. That little pop of color, I love it. Okay, let's get another one. Let's see where I want this one. I think we're 
we're gonna go right behind our bow. I'm just gonna kind of tuck it, tuck it in there. So I just added it right there. Okay, let's get another piece, let's see. that stem long so I can get way up underneath that pumpkin. Okay, so I just tucked it in right there, right up front. Okay, we have some of these little berries. So I'm going to add a couple of these. I think we're going to go high with these. So I'm going to kind of put one right right there. Let's see where I want this one. Go in the back. berries in and I think maybe right in the center of our bow would be a good spot for these berries. Just gonna kind of move them in our loops like they're just kind of all growing in there. We cut this one little piece off where one of the berries fell off. right back here. So let me see what I want to add for some height. Maybe another leaf. Because if this is the front, I feel like we need some height back here. Okay, see that? See, I think we need some height. pieces of those coming up. was kind of short. Yes, yeah, so we can get our little berries there. That will give us some height. So I'm leaving that stem really long. So I can come in there and give us some height there in the back. And I got glue strings everywhere. just take and put them in my pick machine. Create a good little pick. And let's add a couple of these in here. So these little burlap leaves will be cute added in there. Okay, so I'm just going to tuck a couple of these little burlap leaves in there. I've already got a few of them already on a pick. one here in the back. So just 
tucking them kind of where I see little holes. where I want my other ones here. I think we're going to go high with this one. And this pumpkin is foam. So remember, we can, we need to poke our pumpkin and stick stuff in there. So I think I'm going to try to go right beside him. There we go. Love it. These colors are so pretty. Cut that off. Of there. Okay, I got a couple more. So let me see where I want to add, or if I want to add any more. Yes, I think right there. there right there so I'm just kind of looking for some holes I think we need one of those somewhere in the front maybe up underneath our bow I lost my pick Another one back on there. This hook I did not want to stay on there. I'm gonna have to glue it and wait a second. All right, let me glue this and we'll let we'll let it dry for a second just to hold that on there. Okay, and I brought in some of these berries, but I don't know if we're gonna use them or not. Let's see. I might use a couple. So I'm just pulling them apart. And these will kind of be our little flyaway pieces. Give it a little extra pop, just some little berries. I think uh, these probably came from Michael's. I know Hobby Lobby carries different fall berry sprays as well. Okay, so I'm just kind of tucking them here and there. extra little something to it. Let's get this little pumpkin piece added right in the front. I just tuck that one in right there. piece kind of coming up like right in here. So I'm going to douse that with glue. I'm probably not going to be able to hit the foam, but I'm going to hit that pumpkin and I'm just gluing that right there. So this is so pretty. Love it. Pumpkin. I think I may look, make a little clip. 
cluster with it and kind of put it underneath down here. There we go, kind of filled in that bottom. Got a couple little holes in the back, so I'm gonna take another one of these little pumpkins One more back there. Yes. Right in here. All right, guys, I think we are about done. Let me take a look. these little burlap leaves. I think we almost need one right here. Do I have another one? Let me just pick one more. Oh, I forgot I glued that one, didn't I? I set it aside. I see it now. Well, we'll just get this one glued. It can be sitting over there for another project and we'll find a spot. Here's the one I glued while ago. Let's see if I can get it in there. There we go. Yes, so I just tucked it right back there behind that bow. I love it. Just pull that right off of there. Try to see if I want one sort of back behind, kind of like that. I think I do. So I'm just going to glue the back because it's not going to hit the foam, but it will glue to this pumpkin because I'm going to push it right up against it, right behind the leaves. Let me just push that on there so it is glued to the pumpkin. Okay, so I think we are done guys. I think it turned out beautiful. Fun little simple fall basket arrangement. Okay, so here's our finished design. I think it turned out beautifully. If you guys enjoyed watching and you love uh, floral arrangements and wreaths and centerpieces and seasonal decor and all the things, we would love to have you subscribe. Hit that little notification bell. You'll be notified every time we have a new video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and until next time, bye y'all.